We have some sad news from northern Utah. This came in as a car crash with people hurt, but emergency teams found a woman dead from bullet wounds and the suspected shooter in critical condition. Christine McCarthy in Logan on our top story tonight. And Christine, what more do we know about this? Well, we've heard quite a bit from a witness who actually lives in this neighborhood in this residential area of North Logan where this couple was found. And you can actually take a look and see the tire tracks where this car that they were in crashed and quite a bit of littered glass. What we're told by that witness is that the woman he saw had been shot multiple times. Police have corroborated this saying, including once in the head. And police have identified that victim as Amanda Lee Hoyt, and they believe the shooter is her boyfriend, Christian Emerson, both 26 years old. Police do believe Emerson was driving and shot and killed Hoyt before turning the gun on himself in an attempted suicide. He did shoot himself in the head, police say, but he did live. And when first responders found him, he was quickly taken to the hospital and then transferred to a Salt Lake City area hospital where we're told by his family members who have contacted police that he's on a ventilator right now, not doing too well in critical condition. Police still identifying, trying to figure out exactly what happened. They've had investigators out here through much of the morning trying to figure out just what led up to this. They're also talking to friends of both boyfriend and girlfriend to see what might have led up to perhaps an argument. Right now, we did talk to the witness just moments ago who says that he was obviously quite shaken up when he was coming home after the movies and came upon this scene. Guy was uh, starting to stir, kind of wake up a little bit, so I could tell that he was awake and, well, alive. And uh, so pulled the gun out, put it on the street, and then it was uh, just looking around the car, just uh, trying to see what had happened. So and police do say that they are going around trying to talk to friends, family members, piece this together. In the meantime, this is actually the neighborhood where the uh, victim, Amanda Lee Hoyt, her family lives. So right now the family asking for privacy. They have set up a family spokesperson who might be able to talk about this incident later. Brian, back to you. Okay, Christine McCarthy in northern Utah for us. Logan, appreciate it.